Hello everybody, welcome to Simplified in 5. Today we are going to talk about message maps in MFC. So let's first see what are message maps. So the basic here is Microsoft Windows is a message oriented operating system and every Windows program, almost every pro in Windows program involves a lot of message handling when you deal with UI. So for every event in Windows like mouse click, button click, etc. then that event is sent to the program which then should handle it and this event travels through the messages. So Windows framework uses a lot of messages uh, and these messages are connected to their handlers uh, using message maps. So message maps are in general a list of macros where the programmer specifies which uh, event or which message is handled by which function. So as you can see here there could be a, here is a one to one mapping between mouse left click, right click, keyboard click, like events like these are handled by particular functions. Now uh, let's see what are the message categories of these messages so there are three kinds of messages like first one is first one first one is a windows message so windows messages are basically the ones which uh, start with wm underscore prefix like wm paint wm destroy these are handled by uh, windows and views so windows are based windows means the class is derived from cwnd the second type of message is control notification so they are like they are the wm command notifications uh, that are sent from controls and child windows to their parent window so that it's just passage passing passing of message uh, from a control to its parent so for example when let's say if a window has an edit control and when user changes that edit control uh, the edit control sends en change uh, message to its parent window which then could handle uh, that message by um, looking at the text that is newly entered by the user and handling it appropriately so that is the control notification message. The last one and very interesting is the command message. So these are the WM command messages uh, from UI objects which are handled by many objects like document, document template, uh, windows and views of course and again application object. So these, um, the example for this would be let's say you have a menu which has a button called clear data. So when you click this button it not necessarily handled by the by that particular menu but it could traverse through the document object which uh, will handle that message so this basically travels through some other objects to reach its handler uh, now let's see some important macros that you should be using when you uh, write or declare a message map so declare message map macro basically specifies that a class is having a message map begin message map and end message map are the obvious ones which uh, you know uh, tell you the beginning and end of your message map now on command is used for uh, handling command messages uh, on control is for control notification messages when you have a user defined message you use on message macro and similarly if you want to handle number of uh, commands in one uh, go then you can use on command range macro uh, so here is a simple example where you start with a simple example of a message map where you start with begin message map and you end with end message map in between you have on command on wm paint wm destroy which are the windows messages that are handled and so on so this is a very simple example now the interesting point is uh, command targets and command role so each framework class within mfc that can receive message or commands has its own message class so basically every class that is derived from uh, c command target can have a message map and windows messages are usually sent to the mainframe window that the out of the three categories that we saw windows messages are usually sent to the main mainframe window but the third one uh, the command messages are basically routed to other objects which are called as command targets the handlers uh, of these mess command messages are called as command targets not the functions but the objects the objects are called called as command targets so and mfc defines a standard command route uh, of these command targets which uh, any generated command message should follow to reach its handler so generally when a command target receives a command message uh, it first uh, redirects them to its active uh, child command targets then it sees if it can handle itself otherwise it then again forwards the message to other command targets so this is the route that is generally followed by every command message that is generated so these are the five key things we saw about uh, command targets we saw about uh, we saw an example of message map we saw some important macros we saw what are the message categories uh, that can be handled by message map and then we saw the basic detail about message map so thanks for watching and hope this helps